Hi guys, the objective of this video is to explain the rock cycle and all the different steps that are included in the rock cycle. So the idea of the rock cycle is that all of the rocks are interconnected, whether they be sedimentary, metamorphic or igneous. The idea is that we can go from having an igneous rock to a sedimentary rock to a metamorphic rock through some sort of process. So if we first just take at the top here a sedimentary rock. If we have our sedimentary rock, three things can happen to it. Firstly, it can just remain a sedimentary rock on a continental plate somewhere. Or it could be subducted down into the earth and subjected to really high temperatures, causing it to melt and therefore it will become a magma. Or it could be subjected to pressure and temperature, but temperature that's not actually high enough to cause the rock to melt and therefore it will undergo metamorphism and become a metamorphic rock. So say our sedimentary rock has actually become a metamorphic rock. This metamorphic rock can then either itself continue to be subjected to really high temperatures and finally temperatures that cause it to melt and therefore it will become a magma. Or this metamorphic rock could be eroded, transported, deposited and then undergo giant diagenesis to turn back into a sedimentary rock. This sedimentary rock would then be made up of small pieces of our old metamorphic rock. But let's just say our metamorphic rock underwent melting and turned into a magma. This magma could then undergo recrystallization as it would cool and therefore become an igneous rock.